type of force induction or power adder. Well, now we're here at No Prep Kings. Enter the small tire class. You're probably thinking it would have inspired to enter an index class by bracket car. However, there happened to be a nitrous kit sitting on the shelf. So we've got the bottle in, we've got the new plate on it. We are using a mere 200. Um, because if you didn't know, I don't I, I don't own this motor. This is my dad's motor. I'm like an 18-year-old kid car in his dad's Corvette on the weekend. So I may or may not have told dad that the nitrous is on it. So if it goes well, I'll send him a video. If it doesn't, I'll uh, I'll give my Visa card number and he can buy a new one. But so anyhow, so a couple friends are here and they're racing the local eight deal. So we're just racing Friday night and then we'll be helping them Saturday night. So I've never tested this. We did just bang it through the motor twice and it sounds healthy. So we drew chips, we're in the lanes for the first test pass. Um, I was pretty arrogant and I left a lot of gear, there's 456 gear in the car still, because I told Josh, there's no way they're scraping Brainerd, it's gonna be a great track. And uh, he's putting the other camera in right now and he said, uh, just so you know, they did scrape the track. So I, I don't know, I mean, it, I don't see what could really go wrong at this point. Um, there's not a ton of power in the car either way, so I think it might still be okay. All right, thank you. Okay, so anyhow, uh, first test pass, I'm going to spray it at like 200 feet, not right away out of the hole. Make sure to leave and uh, we'll go from there. better than I thought it was gonna go. Um, I grabbed the button right after second, I was just trying to be conservative, and it started riding pretty good, I was surprised. Um, Jack wasn't bad for us when we make a lot of power. Um, in a weird move, unlike myself, I'm actually waiting for a tow back. Um, that's the first time we've ever sprayed it, and I just don't wanna drive it. It's like a two mile drive at bring it back to your pits, and I just, I wanna get the plugs out of it, just make dang sure that everything looks good before we do this again. So we're gonna get turned around, maybe put a fresh set of plugs, new bottle in it. Um, and then we'll back up for first round. kind of crazy <laughs> there's 17 cars here and we got paired up with the car that I believe I've seen before and I think he's like a, a 970 ish car on motor which is about what we are on motor so that was super cool to actually get a pretty good race because there's a lot of badass cars up here and uh I actually didn't even have to spray it and it was <laughs> it looked like a bracket race down there it was like a fender the whole way so we just got up here and we're gonna draw for round number two. All right, so we just drew chips. I'm racing Dan Eid right here, a friend of ours, I believe from South Dakota. Um, so it's gonna be me and Dan. Um, these are the cars that are left. I think there is eight cars, nine cars left. So fortunately we didn't have to spray the car last time. So I know enough about Dan's truck that I'm gonna have to be on the button immediately. So we'll see how that goes.
you saw in that video, I'm a complete moron. Did the burnout, went to put the shifter in second, or went to put it back in first after the burnout. Got distracted by the draggy that was in the car. I usually never have a draggy in the car, but they don't, they're not giving out slips this weekend, so I borrowed one. Went to turn the draggy on, completely put, forgot to put it back in first, so it sucked, but what do you do? Um, they're gonna do a little grudge racing here tonight, so me and Joel Clayson, Joel's got that blue 68 Camaro. We're gonna do a grudge race here, and I'm gonna try to not goof this up again. Leaving first, I'm trying to spray it out of the hole and uh, just see what's worth on this car. How fast it'll go. That was the worst thing I could have ever done. Um, I sprayed it like probably half a second. I didn't get data log, of course. Um, I sprayed it like maybe a half second out of the hole. What a riot. Oh my God. It's been a while since we got to make a quick pass. It wasn't that quick. Um, you'll hear in the video, it started like, started humping pretty hard up there. And I thought it was traction coming in and out, but thinking about maybe it was a tune. I'm not sure. Um, so it only went 119, but it was 574, like using a lot of the track and it was a, Man, that was a riot. That was a lot of fun. Like, I shouldn't have done that because I wasn't missing that up stuff till that pass there. So, we'll see. Pull some plugs out of here. Take a look at the tune. Hopefully, it's okay. Everything sounded good when I shut it down and whatnot. But looking back, when it was kind of ah, 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 always makes me nervous. But I also remember when I used to nitrous race before. That's what it sounded like when it started to run out of nitrous. But uh, we'll take a look at it. So, so when you don't have a big fancy program anymore. Like we used to have a smart car and it's a really big trailer. Now we have a little trailer, no smart car. So nitrous life, we have to shut it off. We're at the top and like a bunch of losers right now. There's nobody up here. I made the pass like a half hour ago. <laughs> we have to shut it off and we have to pull all the plugs at the top end before I can drive the car back because I can't read them if I drive it back. So here we are just seeing about bringing the canopy down just setting it up so we have like a toolbox on here. And we just do all the work on the car and then drive it back. That's about a two and a half mile drive. Overall, that's that's it for us for racing this weekend, but um, this, is a, this is a ride, it's a good time. Um, it's funny, like when we first walked in the gate, they're like, just remember it's a, it's a TV show. It's not it's not race, it's not a race, TV show first. I'm like, okay, that's understandable, but for the $100 registration I paid, like test pass, go a couple rounds in the event, they're letting us grudge race all night. And there's only like maybe 20 cars that aren't street outlaws, so it's like a wide open, no prep test session. So pretty good time. If you haven't been on these, I'd probably recommend it. Um, my only pro tip is you don't overbuy when you buy tickets. They make it confusing, probably so you buy way too much stuff and you really don't need that much stuff. So we'll uh, I'll probably end the video here. And uh, this is a bad deal because the nitrous could get out of hand now. Stand by for that.